Hello, my name is Nancy Neville. I'm a certified QuickBooks Pro Advisor and I'm also a poster on MrLandlord.com and I'm going to show you how easy it is to enter your properties into QuickBooks. From your desktop, you will go to the upper taskbar and click on List and then scroll down and choose Class List from the drop-down menu. This little window will appear. You will click on Class, click on New, and type in your first address. I'm going to say I have a single family home and that address is 7778 Archdale. I type in the address and click OK. There it is. I'm going to add my second single family home, Class, New, and this time this address is 10012 Hartwell Street. I type it in, click OK. I just added my other house. Let's say I have an apartment. I'm going to click on Class, New, and I'm going to type the apartment building name. If you don't have an apartment building name, you can type in the street as your main um, building. I'm going to say that our apartment building name is Rosewood Apartments. And I click OK. Now I have to add the apartments. So, same thing. Class, new. But because I'm adding apartments, I'm going to type in Unit 1, but I'm going to make it a sub-account of the apartment because it is the apartment within a building. What QuickBooks does, let me go back in there and put Unit 1. So we can always change it by double-clicking on it. There we go. I made it Unit 1. QuickBooks does everything in outline form, so it's very, very clean and neat. You don't have anything kind of uh, jamming into one thing and all messed up. It really keeps it nicely organized and clean. I'm going to, this is a fourplex, I'm going to enter the other three apartment buildings. Class, New, Unit 2. It's a subclass of the apartment. Class New, Unit 3. It's a sub-account of the apartment. Unit or Class New, Unit 4, subclass of the apartment. And that's all there is to adding your properties into QuickBooks. How easy is that? Not hard at all. It's just typing it in. Type in your address and put in your apartments as a subclass or indenting it under the apartment building. Like I said, what if you don't have a name on your apartment building? And let's say your apartments just have a street uh, address. Go click New and put it in caps. You can say, let's say your apartments are on Wisconsin Street. We'll call it Wisconsin Street, Wisconsin Street Apartments. OK. And then we'll say Apartment A is a sub-account of that apartment. Class New Apartment B is a sub-account of that apartment. And there you go. And it just keeps everything nice and clean and simple so we can see we have two houses and two apartments, two apartment buildings. And it just doesn't get any easier than that. So this concludes our little um, course on how to enter your properties into QuickBooks. And thank you for joining me today.